Hey, sweetie. I want you to meet my new boyfriend. This is Trevor. Isn't he so cute? So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about digging a hole on Dab It Yourself. And the first thing we need to talk about is shovels. So when digging a hole, you need a shovel, and there's really two kinds of shovels you can use. First one is the spade shovel or the round nose. This is really good for digging into the soil, shaving the side of a hole, and digging deeper and deeper. It cuts into the soil nicely and does a really good job. The second kind of shovel is the square nose, and this is really good for shaping the bottom, smoothing, kind of works like a, like a wood plane and cuts the soil nice and flat and levels it. So if you're digging a trench, you get a nice bottom, or if you're digging a nice deep hole, you have a nice level bottom. So I could definitely dig a hole in my yard, but who wants to dig a hole in their lawn? I mean, this grass is going to be perfectly green and lush in just a few weeks. So when I first thought about digging my hole, I thought, hey, let's go to the beach. You know, sand, easy to dig in. Well, our beaches have lots of rocks, so this isn't a really good idea and a good place to dig a hole. Now in the woods, now there's a great place to dig a hole. Not a lot of people around. You can dig your hole in peace and quiet. The ground's really soft. You can really get in there with that shovel and dig that ground out. Look at that. That's a great place to dig a hole. I think I'm going to dig my hole here. If you're going to dig a hole in a park or a public land, make sure you stay away from the roads or maybe even trails. You want to get deep into the woods so that no one accidentally falls in your hole or interrupts you while you're digging your hole. When you're digging your hole, you want to get your shovel nice firmly in the ground. Put your foot on the back of it, give it a good shove, get it down in there. Work that soil loose, come around the other side, work it loose. Cut through any roots that are in here. And move that soil out of the way. And then you take the point of the shovel, you just keep shaving the sides of those, the hole out until you start getting yourself a good size hole. Now I won't bore you guys with the details, but I'm going to dig this hole, you know, a couple of feet deep and maybe five, six feet long. All right, so once you finish digging your hole and whatever you're doing with it, make sure you fill it back in. You do definitely don't want something that's unsafe that could cause someone to stumble on it, trip, or fall in your hole. And especially if you're doing it, digging a hole on, say, in a public park or a national forest or something, make sure you throw some sticks or twigs over the top of it to make it look natural so that people won't think that you come along and dug a hole. Oh, just a dream. So, oh, 